Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to this Let's Play of Detroit Become Human. If you have not caught up, you need to. This is getting so intense and crazy. A link to the playlist is right here on the screen and it's also linked in the description down below. The last chapter we played as Connor and we prevented a massacre, something that I think is probably the best case scenario of this entire chapter. So I'm very happy with it. I think we did a great job and I just have to keep playing because I'm too hyped up, I'm too excited and I just wanna see what happens next. So without much further ado, you guys, let's continue playing Detroit Become Human. Okay, I'm going to assume this is with Kara. My queen, lover, family. Okay, we need to work on our relationship with Luther. <laughs> someone working. Hello? Hello? I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, well. I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Okay. I'm gonna assume that's her son. Who does not really like us right now? You Sorry. think we can trust them? We don't have a choice. Have a choice. Yeah, we really don't. Like, what are we gonna do now? Just like keep walking in. in the snow? Let Alice die? No, it's fine. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? I'm bummed out, man. I thought the Jerry's were gonna come with us, but I mean, that's a lot of Android, actually. I don't know, sometimes my mind doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but they were cute, they were fun. Okay, let's follow Adam. Thank you, sir. Come on, Alice. Yeah, we'll put her to bed. Come on, girl. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Into bed, into bed, into bed. I'm over here all impatient. She probably has like 103 fever and I'm rushing her. Come on. She did look so sick. I'm fine, Car. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. We're gonna you're gonna legit die. Don't worry, Alice. These people are going to help us. Get some rest, and this time tomorrow we'll be in Canada. I promise. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong.
Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Definitely. Maybe they just need time to understand what we really are. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. I don't know. I really don't know. Because people are ignorant. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. <laughs> that sounds There's so good. something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Sleep tight, Alice. I guess I should have told her to eat. <laughs> downstairs if you want anything. Okay, we're close with Luther. Nice. She'll eat. I mean. He's so sweet too. I love this like group that we have. It's just uh, I'll stay with her a while. Thank you, King. Okay, let's go talk to Rose. Honestly, that spaghetti made me so hungry. I haven't ate. I need to eat. <laughs> I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. She seems nice, but I'm sure she's just like, who the hell are you and who the hell told you about me? So are you going to tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? I think we just have to be honest. Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but... There's always food on the table. Helping androids is dangerous. Why take the risk? When the first one arrived last year, <laughs> he was so lost and confused. Oh, we hid him here for a while, but all he wanted to do was cross the border. They shot him on the spot. So when the next android showed up, I just knew I had to help him. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No we really need what. to, though. Like, I feel like a little pushy, but Please. it is what it is. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. Who is this? She really helps a lot of people, then. Get up, get up.
We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? I wasn't sleepy. I think she needs to learn. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Not really. <laughs> yes. I'm fine. I hope one of us doesn't die, man. It'll be devastating. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... they're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. She has like a lot of stuff. She really wants to help. It's fine, let's go talk to Luther. Because I said we have to have a better relationship with Luther. Yeah, she just has like a lot of supplies for the androids. Talk to Alice in a second. I hope Rose gets back soon. Carol, there's something I need to tell you. It's about Alice. Not now, Luther. Okay, well, that didn't go great. <laughs> you 
know what happened back there, don't you? You know that you don't want to tell me? I thought we didn't keep secrets from each other. If I tell you, you won't love me anymore. Alice, you know that's not true. What does that even mean now? Poor little baby. The police! It's the police! Okay, we couldn't talk to Adam. Open door, find evidence of deviance? What does what that mean? Do? Okay, talk to you. Can I talk to you now? We're here. We Dude, have to open the door. Chill. Can I not talk to him anymore? Oh my god. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. Not, I really can't talk to him right now. All right, what evidence? Okay, I found this. Then there was something on the the the, the counter. Yeah. They need to get Hurry, out of here. Sir, take Alice and hide. Upstairs. Upstairs. Come on, Alice. Go, 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 go. Okay, looks like I could talk to him now. What? Oh, maybe in here, huh? Yes, 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 yes. Now can I talk to you? Are you sure? Just keep calm, Adam, and everything will be all right. Sorry to disturb you. Are you? We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Sure, you're not gonna leave. You'd like rang like 17 times. May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected? I think I did a great job. Visitors? No. No? I'll make coffee. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? There's... There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Here. Ooh, I think I would close that. Oof. It's a good thing I usually like check out all of my tasks because then I saw the evidence thing and I got rid of it like out of the way like immediately. Because I'm assuming that's probably what I could have been doing right now. But now I can just chill. Drink your damn coffee. Can I read? I'll read now. Okay, good thing we didn't say laundry. Because that's also the room with the androids. I just don't think that's a good idea. I think upstairs is good. 10% suspicion, we're good. I'm just gonna stand here, like. Hmm, your daughter seems to have woken up. Mm-hmm. 
so proud of me. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He's just shaken up about this deviant business. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. Better play it cool. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a yeah. nice evening. See ya. Somebody else in the house? Dog. It's the dog. He sleeps in the laundry room. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. <sighs> See what happens when you play it cool. It's Rose. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Ah, that was good. I think we did a great job. Super glad that I literally look at all my tasks like before, like all the time. So I was able to be pieced together like what it was talking about. I'm glad I thoroughly explored the room before that whole event happened too. I'm very happy with that. I think I did fantastic. I mean, it said 10% suspicion and then it like disappeared all entirely. And I think talking to Adam was good too. I had a feeling I would be able to talk to him. I mean, we had that opportunity to talk earlier and I was like, we just need to calm him the hell down because he definitely could have exposed us so i'm glad that we did that i think we did fantastic and yeah a great episode you guys i'm going to call it right here if you like this video don't forget to click the little like button if you want to continue following this let's play don't forget to click the subscribe button and if you are already subscribed don't forget to click the little bell notification you'll be notified whenever i upload new content and you'll be the first person to know about that thank you guys so much for the support i cannot wait to keep playing detroit become human i'll see you next time